Hi, I'm Shadi Hamid. I'm a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution. I write about um, I, I write about the role of Islam in public life and U.S. democracy promotion in the Middle East, and that's why I'm very happy to talk about a really important organization that I've known for a long time, for almost I think 20 years now, after 9/11. Um, the Center for the Study of Islam and Democracy, CSID. And CSID was ahead of its time uh, because after 9-11, there was a lot of skepticism about whether Islam and democracy were compatible. And CSID was one of the first organizations that I remember that was making the case in a systematic way to say, these two things are not opposed. And the only way democracy is possible in the Middle East is if we find a way to accommodate Islam's role in public life. And I think that those words are very relevant now. In fact, they might be more relevant than ever because what we've seen in recent years is a failure to accommodate a role for Islam. And, and now that's why I think there's a lot of doubts about the compatibility of Islam and democracy when there shouldn't be. So we have to revisit this very important conversation. And CSID today is really one of the only organizations that continues to highlight the importance of these themes. Unfortunately, there's been growing skepticism about whether democratization is realistic or plausible or even something that we should be supporting. CSID is holding the torch and saying, yes, this is still important. And yes, we have to continue talking about the compatibility of Islam and democracy. And not just that, there's a more specific aspect that CSID was on the forefront of from the very beginning, which was finding ways to bring Islamists and secularists together in dialogue. One of the major obstacles to democratic reform in the Middle East is that opposition groups can't coordinate. They can't agree with each other because of these ideological divisions. So it really is a priority to find a way to bring these disparate groups together. And CSID provided a, a venue to explore those differences and to try to get past them in the name of supporting democracy. And that's that was missing 15 years ago, and it's actually still missing today, where we see opposition groups divided over religious and ideological lines. So the priority now is how do we build consensus between um, Islamists, religious conservatives, secularists, liberals, leftists, and that's where CSID can continue to play a really important role. So for all those reasons, I'm really proud to support this important organization. And I really hope that anyone who cares about these topics, who still believes that democracy in the Middle East is possible, to lend their support in whatever they, in whatever way they can, to CSID. Um, I will say it is easy to lose hope. It's easy to kind of throw up our hands and say, "This is impossible," but we have to find a way to believe in this because the alternative is very frightening, and the people of the Middle East deserve better, and we should do our part to support them in that.